Hi everyone, it's Dee's from Turtle Dove. How are you all doing? I thought I would come on um, today and just give you a bit of a catch up on what's been going on. Um, some of you may have noticed that I haven't uploaded for a bit over a week. And uh, I have some good news and some bad news. And I've also got a tiny weeny little spotlight haul. So I think, uh, well let's start with the bad news because we'll end with something a bit more uplifting. Um, now some of you may remember my little dog Rita, um, she had surgery back in February, I think it was, she had a lump removed on her back and um, she had that lump there for a couple of years but just the last couple of months before surgery the lump had become infected and um, yeah it just didn't look good so anyway the surgery went well as some of you may know and the vet did let me know that the lumps could come back and that they didn't look good so anyway unfortunately a couple of weeks ago Rita took a turn for the worse and she a couple of lumps appeared on her but um, they're okay they're not open or anything and they're not sore for her but she did um, she just wasn't well in fact she was so bad that I thought she would pass away um, but she didn't she sort of come perked up a little bit um, but she's off of food she's still eating she's still drinking she's very un comfortable she's not in pain as far as I can tell but it doesn't look good um, so yeah I've been in tears earlier this week she's been with us for 13 years and she's a dear little dog and yeah it's going to be really sad um, as soon as she stops eating completely and drinking and if there's any sign of pain we're just going to have to take her to the vet um, which is really really hard to do um, but anyway, yeah, that's um, that's the bad news. So she's still hanging in there, guys, but I just haven't been feeling like, you know, I haven't been wanting to craft. Um, and, yeah, I just my heart's not in it at the moment. Um, I'm just too busy looking after Rita. Um, we had to put her in the kennel outside to uh, sleep in the evening she always has slept with in the laundry um, but she's just like vomiting everywhere and just the mess from that and pooing everywhere as well um, so we thought it was just easier to keep her outside with a wheat bag um, to warm up of a night and she just comes in the house very early in the morning uh, so I can keep an eye on her so yeah that's a bit sad um, but I have some good news as well um, I am a new nanny for the fourth time I have a new brand new little granddaughter she was born seven eight nine days ago um, and she's a little sweetie her name's Ida I-D-A and she is so cute and so little she's a little peanut um, she is my son and his girlfriend Lucy's first baby little daughter for them so I'm really happy for them a sweet little family so that's some good news so yeah I've been busy with my grandchildren as well and I've had a couple of um, cuddles with Ida um, so yeah that's really exciting so anyway guys that's what's been going on with me um, so just be patient with me or um, eventually upload more um, I'm just really busy with with Rita at the moment and um, keeping her comfortable and I really just don't feel like turning the camera on a lot of the time so um, I do have to however make my sister a, um, a birthday card so I may show you that we'll see how we go um, but anyway I have a teeny little haul from the spotlight to show you I'll just show you the big things first um, I bought this for my dies I don't have many dies at all 
um, it's just this little plastic box with one, two, three, four, five, six coloured little boxes inside and they would be good. In fact, I have a big um, box with 16 little boxes inside um, and they're quite expensive. This was $21. The big one with the 16 boxes inside is almost $50. So I will be buying that eventually because uh, I'm running out of space in my little expander file here uh, with ephemera and stuff like that in it. So that's what these are good for. But I've only got a few dies and they're small. So they all fit nicely in here. So I've put all my Christmas dies in the red box and I think I've only got two others so I thought that was good so that's that I bought some E6000 I've used E6000 a lot um, but the big one I had oh, it's nearly finished as you can see this one's for jewellery but I can still use it for other things and I bought some precision glue sticks I go through a lot of the glue sticks and lastly I have this um, this was $5 and these are trim remnant bags so you just get random trims from reels I guess that they they might have some left over you know when you buy from the meter so I haven't looked at this yet so let's take this out and have a look see what I've got so I, I thought that wasn't bad for five dollars at all so I have some yellow yeah you can see it was the end of the the real some yellow ribbon some green ribbon some sequin I think I bought some of this actually um, this is it probably a bit over half a meter about three quarters of a meter this is some little sequin trim I hope I do have some of this little pink faux pearls So I get a fair bit of that. I will be doing another video um, because just before I pressed record I received a package from Carlette who is a viewer of mine here on Turtle Dove and she wanted to gift me some, she was going through some of her crafting supplies and having a clean out so she gifted me some craft items so I'm really excited to um, open that and take a look so I'll be doing that either today or tomorrow now this is unusual oh this is the sticky okay so this ah I'm looking at the wrong side and I wonder it looked a bit strange This is uh, some nice trim, just in an ivory colour. I don't know what you call that. Here's some fringe trim. This is in sort of like a... I don't know, it's not quite burgundy, it's sort of like a brown burgundy. And a little bit more. Coloured trim. This is um, sort of looks plated or woven, I guess you could say. So that's pretty as well. This one's nice, I like this. It's the fuchsia pink, purple, and blue little tassel trim. Some black lace.
pretty pink trim. Some ivory cotton lace. That's good quality actually, this one. And lastly, some plastic that looks like metal and it's got little diamantes in it. So that's a good metre and a half of that. So that's it guys. That's my little mini haul. So yeah, I just thought I would keep you up to date with what's going on. So just bear with me guys. Um, I'm still, you know, I just want to put all my energy into my grandchildren and looking after Rita at the moment. Um, so I will come on, but uh, it might be a few weeks before I come on um you know, as I usually do, um, but you never know, it just depends on how I feel. So anyway, you know that I'll be back soon with the um, uh, unboxing of Car Carlette's little treats for me, so we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now guys.